my man. Okay. It's a gorgeous day outside. I was very happy. This is the warmest time day so far of the year. But something really spoiled it for me. You will not believe what I've just done. I have just filmed my foundation routine for you. This makeup tutorial, and I was doing it upstairs, trying something different on my iMac. And when I finished, I've realized that I didn't record any of it. I was so, so mad. I wanted to smash it all. Um, and I reviewed for you in my makeup tutorial the new mascara that I bought, the new L'Oreal mascara. So I thought I come down here, use my old little camera and I will just review the mascaras for you because I wasn't just about to take it all off and do it all again. So let me start with the mascaras. So you know from my last video, my mini haul, I bought this new L'Oreal Fosse Lashes Flatter Mascara which is supposed to give you butterfly wing effect. Beautiful packaging, silver with black plastic. Um, you open it up, let me get rid of, I will get rid of a bit of the mascara from the wand so you can see the wand a bit better because it is the most unusual wand you've ever seen okay so it has like these three rolls here of very very fine bristles and um, they're supposed to fit right here on the outside of your eye and give you this butterfly wing effect. So what I did when I was doing this tutorial, I used this mascara on this eye and then I used the Sexy Curves from Rimmel on that, on that eye. Okay, so let me tell you about this one. The first thing that concerned me was the very flexible want because I don't know about you but when I put my mascara on by the way I'm so sorry if you can hear my washing machine in the background I shouldn't have started washing but it's been mad morning um, because I don't know about you but when I put my mascara on I stick the wand right in right in the root and I close my eye while at the same time pulling the wand up. Now, if the wand is very flexible, I don't get any resistance, if you know what I mean, when I'm closing my eye, the wand sort of bends with my eye being closed, so I don't feel like it gets right in the lashes. Um, it was nice enough, very creamy mascara, all the teeth went nicely through your lashes, but <laughs> I'm so upset because I wanted this to be amazing, but it is not. Um, it's just a nice mascara. It doesn't make my lashes look, you know, so different that I would make you run out and buy it. Um, uh, okay, what I like from my mascara, I'm not so bothered about the length and about the mascara separating my lashes. I want volume. I want thick lashes, lashes. And that does not give me thick lashes. It might maybe make them a bit longer. I don't care for that. My lashes are quite long. I don't even curl my eyelashes because my eyelashes are quite... Um, already curled um, so I want volume and I've noticed you can't really get that really from just one mascara that's why I use um, why am I so close I wanted to show you let me show you this um, I 
So this is the um, Laurel Mascara. Um, you know, my lashes would look like this um, after using any mascara. So that hasn't made my lashes look any better than any other mascara. Um, it didn't make them thicker. It didn't make them look like butterfly wings. But it is nice enough. If you don't like loads and loads of mascara on your lashes, which I do, um, and you just want them to be defined and maybe, I don't know, I'm trying to make it sound good, but it's not. Um, yet, it is nice mascara. It's not something that I would say, God, don't buy it, it's horrible. It is a nice mascara, but it does not do what it promises. I don't think, not for me. So, I might try to use it on the top of another mascara. So, what I would do with that, that one, I think, I would use one that gives my lashes volume, and then i probably brush it through with that and I might like it then. It also dries very, very hard. Um, as soon as you put it on, you know, if you go in two minutes later, try to put something else on, they hard. So, so that was my review. £11. Don't think it was worth it. I will let you know um, another time if I've used it with another mascara, if it worked better. But please don't take my word for it. Um, I cannot stress strongly enough. Um, don't just go by what I say because especially with mascaras, it's such individual choice. Um, with anything really, with makeup, we all like different things. I just hope that the way I'm um, reviewing these things give you quite a good idea if you would like it or not. Uh, but, you know, don't just go and order it online. Go and see it. Go and try it, like with anything, because I've done that. that I saw people raving, you know, about this um, NARS gloss in Turkish Delight. I didn't go to the shop. I didn't see it. I didn't try it. I just ordered it online and I regretted it because you know my feelings about it. So please don't take my word for it. It's just what I think of those things and how they work for me, okay? So at the same time, I bought the Sexy Curves mascara from Rimmel. It was on sale. That's what I hate about them. They stick all these stickers. You can't peel them off. It looks disgusting. You don't get that with high-end stuff. Um, it was on sale and I also saw someone here on YouTube um, saying that this was very good mascara. And if it wasn't on sale, I probably wouldn't buy it, but it was. So, so this one I use on this eye. Um, the Sexy Curves has different wand as well to your usual wand. It is a bit flexible, but not as much as the other one. And this one gives me brilliant, brilliant, um, not fraction, what do I mean? Resistance. So when I explain to you how I apply, I stick, let me show you. I stick the wand right in the root and as I'm going up with the, I'm closing my eye at the same time. That way I feel that the eyelashes being really brushed against the bristles. I love this mascara. I could really feel the resistance and I think it's giving me lovely volume. It is full volume and curve mascara. I'm not worried about the curve, but it definitely gave me volume. I definitely, definitely love this one and I prefer it so much more. This is not new, this has been out for ages. Um, and I don't think I've ever tried any Rimmel mascaras. I haven't tried really Rimmel stuff full stop till lately, some lipsticks and stuff. But if I had to choose between these two, I will go for the Rimmel every time. 
so it is quite sad i'm so disappointed because this mascara to me looked so good and you know what i was excited the most about that you don't have it yet in the usa <laughs> because you get everything so much quicker i can't believe we still don't have maybelline whispers here like the maybelline tattoos you can only get here i think four or five colors i don't know why that is uh, the same with Revlon, we have very small um, colour choice here, you get so much more. So I was quite smug that I'm, I've got the <laughs> L'Oreal uh, mascara before you and I wanted to tell you that it's so amazing, but it is, it is not. <laughs> it, it looks pretty, it's a good quality mascara, but not something that will make big difference to my lashes so sorry if I've disappointed you but still like I said go and check it out for yourself and I will try to film this foundation routine again maybe I come down here and do it and maybe do this makeup again this makeup that I'm wearing is exactly the same makeup I was wearing in uh, um, apart from the lipstick in the video that just come out mini haul where I've bought these mascaras and all the products are listed in there that I've got on my face so I won't do it again on this um, on this video uh, I might video it again okay I hope this was helpful to you oh yes and I thought I might do quick outfit of the day. I'm quite excited about doing outfits of the day. I never know how to do it. I think this time I might do it that way. It was a bit too dark that way. So hold on. Okay, so on my top I'm wearing this cute uh, bright pink jumper saying ooh la la. I really like it. Although I bought it a while ago when um, I still had a bit more weight so it's um, it's a bit loose now and then I'm wearing just a very dark jeans skinny jeans and what I like about them they are a bit high-waisted um, I can't stand these jeans they come up so low because then my belly flops over it <laughs> as I also had cesarean section and if you've had cesarean section you know that when you have um, the scar here, uh, you sort of have a little pouch. How attractive. Anyway, these jeans um, shape and lift, which have this special um, seam here that's supposed to lift your bottom. And for my shoes, nothing special. I just have my ag boots on, my Bailey buttons, which I like to they are like this, but I like to turn down the, the front. Okay, and now I know some of you see now and again this picture behind. Um, it is um, a canvas from my wedding day. Uh, what I did, I just took a our wed that particular wedding picture to a photography shop and I asked the man to put it on canvas but I wanted it in black and white because obviously my colour scheme here is sort of with black so I wanted this picture in black and white and I know you can sort of see me but you can't see my husband and I've been asked to go up and show it to you so there we are there is my lovely husband um, that was God when was that that was in 1999 February 1999 we just had our wedding anniversary uh, in February a very happy day we are in Barbados on a beach so there you go anyway I hope you enjoy this I see you soon bye